So this morning we're investigating hidden gems here in Arizona. The new issue of the Phoenix Magazine featuring the best gas station restaurants around. So Ernie, uh, she's the lucky one this morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, good morning. We're actually in Peoria near Cactus and 67th Avenue, and we're talking about Casa de Falafo. And get this, guys, it may be in a gas station, but they were actually voted the second best falafel restaurant in the country, according to Yelp. And you can take a look at some of their delicious dishes right here, and we will get to the man behind these masterpieces in just a moment. But first, I want to throw it over to Craig with Phoenix Magazine. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Craig, tell us about this feature this month. Pretty interesting. Grab and go. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a giant food feature we're doing this month just to celebrate all things, wonderful things that are still happening in Valley Dining. You know, people have been quarantining pan, you know, for the pandemic for the last year, but so many restaurants are still out there doing the hard work, including this beautiful restaurant. So what we did is we, we assembled five different places in the Valley where they make great food out of gas stations. Right. You know, and this place is in a this is Casa de Falafel in Peoria <laughs> in a shell station. And like you said, you can fill up on unleaded and also fill up on some of the best uh, chickpea, fried chickpea you'll find in, in the country. If you've never been acquainted with the delights of fried pick chickpea, this is where you come. It's a wonderful Mediterranean dish. You probably have had it at yeah. like Pita Jungle and that kind of thing. They do it great here. We and also, I love that it is authentic and it's not just like a burger and fries. Exactly. It's healthy. We also found a you know great place that does uh, Bianca-style pizza and mesa out of a Chevron, et cetera. And uh, a wonder, also wonderful other uh, things happening in Valley Dining, uh, pizza, um, you know, some of the great uh, restaurants that are opening in the East Valley and right. West Valley outside of Central Phoenix. So. so Phoenix Magazine making sure that we do not overlook the restaurants where you fill up. Exactly. And you're coming <laughs> to spring right now. The vaccine's out there. I think people are thinking about eating out more, so we hope they do. All right. I want to go ahead and bring in the man behind some of these dishes, Ali. Good morning. Good morning, man. Ali, tell us a little bit about your restaurant. How'd you all get started? Actually, I arrived to America uh, August 2, 2015, and I opened the restaurant next year, like 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have enough money to, to start my own restaurants, right. so I just train this one, make some chains, and we started from there. Well, so this was kind of like the American dream for you. Talk about some of these dishes, and are they authentic to your culture? It's, it's everything here is from my culture. It's, it's Mediterranean, it's Middle Eastern, it's from Middle East, and uh, we have the best falafel in the world. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. We have the best falafel. In the I'm going to have to try it and put it to the yeah, test. Exactly. Now, Ali, we know that this year has been extremely hard for restaurants. Um, what are some of the struggles that you've been dealing with, basically also because of your location? The, the, the first problem from the first day we opened is our location. Yeah. But we proved we are good enough to bring people inside the gas station to have food. And uh, when the pandemic it happened, it was hard. It was very hard on us because we closed the dining, just take out. Okay. And it was very tough year. So you're still doing takeout, correct? It's just takeout. Just yeah. takeout. You see some of the dishes here. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try it in just a little bit. Okay. But guys, uh, there's so many other restaurants that are featured in this magazine this month at gas stations. We want to make sure that we also support those local restaurants as well. And the Phoenix Magazine, it's this edition for January and February. You can find it on newsstands right now. And I'll send it back to you in the studio. I think it's a great idea. So I can't wait to see it. Enjoy that food.